That's the bell. Hi there guys, welcome to Narbonne. We're in the south of France. I thought I'd show you this place. You've most probably heard of Carcassonne, which is, well, it's got a massive castle like Narbonne does, but Narbonne has a bit more of a unique history, I think, because it's where all the antiques were traded from. And they used to come up this river, all the merchants, and still here today, they've got a lot of stuff from their past. And also it was very important during the Roman Empire was a very important town. At one point it was the most important town outside of Rome. So I thought we'd pick here, we'll have a nosy round. I just spoke to some Spanish tourists and they said to me that they were staying in Nîmes, which is not far away. And I actually did the same trip as them, but they're going down back into Spain, obviously. And I said, where did you prefer, here or Nîmes? And they said they preferred Nîmes. So, Nîmes is much bigger than uh, Narbonne, but if you're just staying one night and you're heading down to Barcelona, then it's not so bad. Um, and it's way less touristic than Carcassonne, so getting accommodation there would be a lot more expensive. And here the parking's good, they've got big parking spaces. For three hours it was two euros. A plat du jour here was 13.50, which is quite cheap, and it was very good quality food. Yeah, and people seem quite friendly. Um, everyone's a lot more calm here, so if you're driving from, say, the UK and you're coming down here, just be more aware that people are more crazy as they drive here. That is a food marketplace there, but it's just closing up. I missed it. I did eat my lunch in there though, so I, I, I would recommend going there for lunch actually over there. But the cheese stalls and everything. So it reminded me of the kind of Spanish tapas vibe. Yeah, I love these little towns. I like to just have a wander through. There's also a very pretty town called Grisson, which is near here. It's about 20 minutes drive, and you're right on the coast. There's a beautiful castle there as well. For me so far, uh, I'm trying to think where I've preferred. I think on this mini trip, I'll have to say I preferred Nîmes, I think. But we've not seen Narbonne yet. We've just arrived. I've just arrived. So I literally parked there, went in there for something to eat, and now we're going to do it together. So I might put you in point of view, actually. Why not? I've already heard three different languages other than French. So we've had Italian, I've heard, Spanish, English, and then French. And also there's a lot of Dutch people here. I said that in the other video. So yes, yeah, very touristic. They've got a little tourist train there. We'll see how much that costs. And obviously the castle is the main attraction, not my face. <laughs> They've got 42 flavours of ice cream here. How much is a bowl? So one scoop of ice cream is 2.50, two is 4.50 and three is 5.50. They've got milkshakes there as well. And here's this little touristy train. Let's see how much this is. So this is, the season for this is July and August, and also 
they, they also have it running less between April and September and then it's closed. It's a 45 minute circuit. And how much is it? That should technically be the most important information on the thing, but it's not. It's 750 for an adult and four for a child. And it takes you up around the castle. Well, we're gonna walk there because we're not lazy. <laughs> I often, you know, sometimes I forget that everyone speaks English. Do you think we'll beat them? I think we'll beat them. There does seem to be a lot of homelessness down in the south of France. And basically, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's not the best 10 things to do. I try and just give you literally, I've arrived, turn on the camera and we just walk around. So if you want lots of facts and information, I'll put some below in the box. But for me, I always feel disappointed when I arrive in some towns because people show just the best parts of the town, whereas I like to give you a bit of a, a bit of everything really. So we're just literally having a wonder. And it's like I said, it's very, very important, the, the connection with the Roman empire and this, these parts of France. Another thing I've noticed on this trip is how much I like, how much I dislike baby screaming, is how much I like this coastline. Because I only knew the Riviera before and now I really think I prefer this side of the uh, French coastline. That's very nice guys, very nice. I think we can go in as well. Let's find out how much it costs. So there's something down here as well. Lots of Roman ruins. I did do a video on Avignon as well, if you want to see that. There's a lot of French towns that I've done on the playlist below. It's hot here as well. So July, we're in, it's July as I'm here. This is the Hotel de Ville. I wonder if they'll let me film in here. just going to ask this woman. It's a nice floor. Ah, oh, that breeze is very nice. I suppose in England actually, we'll have to do some castles there. So hi there, yeah, I just had to wait for this lady to finish with someone else. So you just said that to come around here it's free. So you can visit the cathedral, cloister and the garden. Mm -hmm. The three are free. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you want to pay, you can visit the tower, the museum, it's a collection of ours, and the treasury room in the cathedral. Okay, and in your opinion, is it is Carcassonne a lot nicer than Narbonne? It's different. That it's different. It's very different. Narbonne is more uh, Roman, you know. More Roman, yeah. yes. So what's an interesting thing about Narbonne? Uh, it's the, it was the second Rome. Second Rome. Yes. Right, okay. uh, so it's very famous for the Roman. Uh, and uh, which, which, if you're staying here for one night, yes. 
which beach is best to go to from here? Ah, which, uh, Grisson. Grisson, that's yes. nice. For me, it's, uh, it's better than Arbonne Plage. Okay. It's pretty sure. And it's 20 minutes drive? Yes. Okay, thank you. Minutes. Thank you very much. So a local person recommends Grisson as well. well let's have a nosy round then. You know, you've got to go up if it's free. If it's free. Are you those tourists that do things that are free? I often find that when you have to pay, it's a bit of a scam. It's not worth the money. But that's just, I suppose that's my job, isn't it, to tell you. did just see that you've got to pay to go to the toilet here so that's a little travel tip go to the restaurant first driving down here is pretty cool though the tolls are very expensive that's something that I suppose I should quickly talk about now so to drive from Geneva down to here it's going to cost you about 55 euros in toll and then you fuel as well. So if you're coming down, you might want to get some more people in the car. I don't know about the train, but it doesn't take long, about five and a half hours. So it says no speaking in here. So. whispering so I suppose I can whisper you know what it's bloody nice I would definitely come definitely come to Narbonne it's very pretty most probably one of the nicest I've seen actually nice organ there expecting more or less so yeah let me know below what you think of the town would you come if you're driving to Barcelona where did you stop off at and yeah I'll see you in the next video I think we'll just point of view you around here
Right, so we just went around the castle. I thought it was really good, actually. Most probably one of the nicest castles I've seen. So it's a thumbs up for me, for Narbonne. I think it's a cheaper option than Carcassonne. You're not far away from a nice beach. And yeah, so I would definitely recommend it. Over Nîmes, I would say Nîmes is better, if you, especially if you're continuing into Spain. But yeah, we'll have a little look at this square and then I'll see you in the next video. Wow, it's pretty.